Hi, um, in this second part of the AEL programming session, we'll talk about automating ADS and um, also how to use AEL for uh, drawing layout. So um, in automating ADS with AEL, you could actually automate most of the functionalities that you do manually in ADS using the AEL code. And one of the easiest way to do that is a um, feature called recording an ADS AEL macro. In this small lab, we'll talk about how to do that. So let's assume that you open this ship example, sim models underscore work. I have it open here in the, the ADS main window. Next thing is launch the ADS start recording macro, right here. And in the start recording macro, type the name of um, the macro that you want to record. In this case, we're going to simulate um, the circuit using harmonic balance. I call this sim underscore hp1 underscore macro. Click save. So now anything that you do in AES, or at least most of the things, will be recorded in the macro. So here we're going to um, use this um, command line to keep trace of all the AEL commands that I used. So let's say I open this schematic. Do a simulation of this particular um, harmonic balance test bench. Let's say we want to change the value of this bias voltage from five to four. Change that. If you notice that, you see that in the A in the command line, the corresponding AEL code for that particular operation that we did manually. Let's simulate this again. And uh, once the simulation is done, you'll see this output window pop up. So let's stop the macro. So go back to tools, stop recording macro. And then let's close all the windows because the next step is we actually want to play back the macro. Uh, before we do that, let's examine the actual macro that is recorded. So um, if you go to the place where we had recorded the macro, in this case, uh, let's go to this particular directory. Look for the macro called simhp1. Let's launch that in the in the notepad plus plus editor. And then if you observe that these are the bunch of AEL commands or statements that are executed when we actually simulated that uh, schematic. So now in order to play that back, go back to the tools window, playback macro, and then select the, the macro uh, file that we recorded. In this case, sim hp1 macro, click OK. It's going to automatically launch ADS, do the simulation. And if you notice, it did it so quickly that it ran two simulations, changed the variable um, of VDS parameter to four volts, and then ran the simulation, and then popped up the, the, the data display window. Um, one of the neat things with um, doing this is um, you can see the corresponding code or AEL statement for that particular action. And then you can use that macro and then convert that into a function or um, add some more code. And um, you can uh, automate more uh, functionality using the AEL program, programming language. So the next part of the, the session will be is a layout AEL. We're going to talk about how to use AEL for coding any layout in uh, ADS. In this particular example, um, we're going to use the M curve function that is um, used in ADS for actually drawing an M curve microstrip line. So that's the actual code snippet. I just renamed this by prepending this with ADS layout. So that way we're not overloading the M curve function, which is shipped with ADS. So this code is actually 
um, part of um, the file that you could probably download. It's um, it's right here in this uh, file called ads layout mco.ael. So if you notice here, this particular function is the top level function which draws the mco, and then it calls another function called circuit seeker which actually draws the mco, and th that's the code right there. We're not going to go through each line of this code, but just going to talk about how to execute this function and how to debug this. So again, um, let's launch the ADS command line. So go to tools, command line, which has already been launched here. We're going to load this file, ADS layout M curve, um, using this um, using this um, statement here, load statement. You click on that, hit enter. It overwrites the code that is already loaded. We're going to execute this function called ADS layout M curve. In order to do that, let's open up a new layout. We can call this whatever you want. And then we're going to cut and paste this line here into the ADS command line. And um, when you hit enter, if everything was coded and there's no syntax error or any logical error, you'll see the actual M curve being drawn with two ports. So like I mentioned before, this is the actual code that shipped to the ADS. So now let's uh, figure out how to debug using the AEL debugger. So again, we're going to uh, load that function, which we already did. We're going to start the debugger from the command line right here. Um, that launches the, the command line. No. Um, the next step is to break on function, which is right there, the third step. Click on that and then type the name of the function, which is ADS layout M curve. Just again, going to uh, copy and paste that. Here, and then click OK. Then again, click the run function to pass control back to the ADS command line, which is right here. And uh, just to make sure that we're not overriding the previous test, just going to delete that. And then just um, call the actual function with the variables. I'm just again going to control and paste that. This is going to pass control back to the debugger and the debugger loads the, the code. Then we can set any number of breakpoints. So for example, here, let's set a few breakpoints here. And then again, use any of these commands here to walk through the code and test uh, what each of the values are. For example, we can say step over. And if I hover over that S element name, it tells me it's M curve. Um, So we want to actually look at the value of I draw layer how over the mouse over that and it tells me it's layer number one and then we can just keep uh, stepping over or hit the run function to pass command back to the ADS command line and we do this and if you go back to the ADS um, a layout window, we see the actual uh, function being used. Um, that's how you, one of the ways of debugging ADS um, layout AEL code. And here, this slide talks about some of the steps that we used in, in, the, in the demo. And that concludes um, the second part of the series of using AEL or coding in AEL and debugging. 
Um, the third part that we'll talk about is how to use AEL in uh, measurement expressions, um, which are used both in the data display as well as in the in in the measure exp expression part in the schematic.